Situated in South Asia, India is quite the hot spot, attracting millions of tourists every year. As one of the most densely populated countries in the world, with 1.3 billion people, India has been the epicenter of South Asian travel for decades. From perfectly preserved castles, forts, mosques, and temples that date back thousands of years, to some of the most colorful culture and art scenes, it's not hard to see why India is one of the biggest backpacking and traveling destinations for people all around the world. India also takes center stage if you're seeking a thrilling adventure in dense rainforests, deserts, wildlife safaris, or the mighty Himalayas. With a country this diverse and stunning, where do you start your journey? In this video, let's travel to the top 11 places to visit in India's magnificent landscapes. Are you ready to dive into Indian culture, history, landscapes, and festivals? Let's head to Tamil Nadu first. Number 11. Danushkodi Steeped in Indian myth and religious legends, Danushkodi is where a strip of Indian subcontinent slices the blue Indian Ocean in half. This abandoned town is at the southeastern tip of Pamban Island in the state of Tamil Nadu, and perhaps a site unlike any other coastal area. According to Hindu mythology, it's believed to be the spot where Lord Rama built a bridge of floating stones to reach Sri Lanka. The name Danushkodi itself translates to end of the bow, referring to Lord Rama's bow. Danushkodi was once a bustling town, but it was devastated by a cyclone in 1964. Now, it's a ghost town, with the ruins of homes and a railway station slowly being reclaimed by nature. As you wander, you'll eventually come across the land's end point, where cerulean waves surround you from three sides. Danushkodi is a haven for birdwatching and marine life enthusiasts. Keep your eyes peeled for migratory birds and the occasional dolphin sighting. Number 10. Elora and Ajanta Caves Tucked away in the heart of Maharashtra, Elora and Ajanta are rock-cut wonders and an absolute must-visit. What makes these caves so extraordinary? Well, let's dive into it. Elora and Ajanta together form a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and they're known for their exceptional architecture dating back to the 2nd century BCE. The Elora Caves are a jaw-dropping fusion of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism. You'll find a series of beautifully carved monasteries, temples, and chapels dedicated to different faiths, all honed right out of the Charandari Hills. The crown jewel here is the Kalasa Temple, often referred to as the cave within a cave. It's a colossal, multi-level marvel that took centuries to carve out of a single rock. It's a sight to behold. Make sure to visit during the Alora Festival held annually in the mesmerizing surroundings of the caves. It's a celebration of classical dance and music, truly an experience to cherish. Ajanta Caves, on the other hand, are ancient Buddhist caves, renowned for their exquisite frescoes and sculptures. Dating back to the 2nd century BCE, these caves served as monastic retreats and are adorned with intricate paintings that tell the story of Buddha's life. Check out the viewpoint outside the Ajanta Caves during sunset for breathtaking panoramic views of the Wagora Valley. Number 9. Pangong So this high-altitude lake is nothing short of a natural wonder. It stands at an elevation of about 14,000 feet above sea level, with rugged mountains forming a dramatic backdrop. The pristine waters stretch as far as the eye can see, and the colors can change from azure to turquoise and even deep blue, depending on the time of day and the angle of the sun. If you're a shutterbug, Pangong So is a dream come true. The play of light and shadows on the lake's surface, the reflections of the surrounding peaks, and the occasional migratory birds gliding across the water make it a paradise for photography enthusiasts. Some of you might even recognize Pangong So from the Bollywood blockbuster Three Idiots. The lake played a starring role in the film, and it's easy to see why filmmakers are drawn to its otherworldly beauty. Pangong So offers an array of activities for the adventurous soul. You can camp by the lakeside and wake up to breathtaking sunrise views. Trekking and mountain biking on the nearby trails are also fantastic options. Just remember, at this altitude, take it easy and give yourself time to acclimatize to the thin air. Pangong So is a bit remote. It's about a five-hour drive from Lier, the nearest major town, but that's precisely what makes it so special. The lack of urban distractions means you can truly connect with nature and experience the peaceful serenity of the Himalayas. Number 8. Lakshadweep Islands 
India's best kept secrets, the mesmerizing Lakshadweep Islands are miles of unspoiled beaches, coral reefs, and a sense of tranquility that washes over you like the gentle waves. It's a tropical paradise in the Arabian Sea that offers a range of activities for all you adventure seekers. Snorkeling, kayaking, and scuba diving are all on the menu. Dive into the crystal clear waters and explore the vibrant underwater world. Lakshadweep is also a cultural hub. The local culture is a blend of various influences, including Arab, British, and Indian. You can experience this unique culture through the islanders' hospitality, art, dance, and music. If you're lucky, you might catch a live traditional dance performance or a local festival. To get a bird's eye view of the islands, consider taking a seaplane or helicopter ride. The aerial perspective reveals the stunning atolls and lagoons that make up this incredible archipelago. And what's travel without indulging in the local cuisine? Like Shadweep offers some delicious seafood that's as fresh as it gets. From lobsters to crabs, you're in for a feast. Number 7. Goa Goa is a tropical haven and India's very own beach metropolis. If you're a beach lover, you're in for a delightful surprise, because Goa boasts some of India's most stunning shorelines. From the lively shores of Baga and Kalangute to the serene stretches of Palolem and Aganda, there's a beach for every mood. You can soak up the sun, take a refreshing dip in the Arabian Sea, or get your adrenaline pumping with exciting water sports like parasailing and jet skiing. But Goa is not just about sun and sand, it's also a treasure trove of history. Don't miss the Basilica of Bon Jesus, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that houses the mortal remains of St. Francis Xavier. It's a place where history truly comes alive. And if you're into architecture, the Say Cathedral is a must-visit. Its stunning design gives you a glimpse into Goa's rich Portuguese legacy. Now, if you're a night owl, Goa is the place to be. When the sun sets, the beach clubs, bars, and nightclubs in places like Anjuna and Tito's Lane come to life. Life. You can dance the night away to electronic beats or enjoy some live music at a beachfront venue. For nature enthusiasts, the Dudsaga waterfalls, located in the lush Bhagwan Mojave Wildlife Sanctuary, are a sight to behold. The cascading white waters surrounded by verdant forests are a perfect escape from the beach scene. Additionally, visiting vibrant local markets, like the Anjuna Flea Market or Mapusa Market, is a great way to experience Goa's unique culture and shop for souvenirs. Number 6. Kerala Nestled in the southwestern part of India, Kerala is renowned for its picturesque landscapes, serene backwaters, and diverse cultural experiences. One of the most iconic attractions in Kerala is its backwaters. These tranquil, palm-fringed waterways offer a unique and peaceful experience. A must-do is a houseboat cruise through the backwaters of Alapi or Kumarakam. You can watch the world go by while floating on the water, enjoying delicious Kerala cuisine prepared by onboard chefs. Savor the flavors of coconut, spices, and fresh seafood. Try the mouth-watering Kerala Sadia, a traditional vegetarian feast served on a banana leaf, or indulge in seafood delicacies at a local restaurant. Have you ever been to a place where the air smells like freshly plucked tea leaves? Munnar is one such spot, covered in rolling tea plantations. Take a walk through the tea gardens, visit tea factories to learn about the tea-making process, and enjoy the breathtaking views of the Western Ghats. Kerala is home to some incredible wildlife sanctuaries, like Periyar and Wayanad. If you're up for an adventure, embark on a thrilling jungle safari where you can spot elephants, tigers, and various exotic bird species in their natural habitat. Kerala is also renowned for its Ayurvedic treatments and wellness centers. You can rejuvenate your mind and body with traditional Ayurvedic therapies and yoga sessions amidst the serene natural surroundings. The musical culture of Kerala is evident in the Kathakali dance performance. This is a traditional art form renowned for its distinct makeup and storytelling. Don't miss the chance to witness one live. While you're there, visit the historic Matancheri Palace in Kochi or explore the Jewish synagogue in the same area, reflecting Kerala's multicultural history. Number 5. Jaipur, Rajasthan Jaipur also known as the Pink City, is the capital of Rajasthan. You might wonder, why pink? 
Well, it's not just a random choice of colour. It earned its nickname when the entire city was painted pink to welcome the Prince of Wales in 1876, and the tradition has stuck ever since. Your journey in Jaipur begins with the magnificent Amber Fort, perched atop a hill. This architectural marvel takes you back to the opulent era of the Maharajas. If you're up for something unique, how about an elephant ride to the fort? It's not every day you get to ride an elephant and enjoy those bird's eye views of the city. Located within the Amber Fort is the Shish Mahal, meaning Mirror Palace, known for its intricate mirror work. It is a must visit for its sheer beauty and craftsmanship. Then there's the City Palace, a royal residence that's a fusion of Mughal and Rajasthani architecture. The Jantar Mantar Observatory nearby is not your typical observatory. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, and it's home to a jaw-dropping collection of astronomical instruments. You can't come to Jaipur and not visit the Hawa Mahal, or Palace of Winds. It's a five-story wonder filled with countless windows. It was built to allow royal women to witness street festivities while remaining hidden from public view. For the shopaholics, Johari Bazaar and Baju Bazaar are the go-to places. Think exquisite jewelry, textiles, and handicrafts. Jaipur is also all about culture and tradition, and these markets are a testament to that. Speaking of culture, Jaipur knows how to keep traditions alive. You can catch folk dances, puppet shows, and classical music performances at places like Jahawar Kala Kendra and Choki Dani. It's like a cultural feast for your senses. Number 4. Amritsar, Punjab Amritsar, up in the northern Punjab, is brimming with rich history, deep spirituality, and a mouth-watering food scene. At its heart stands the Golden Temple, also called Sri Harmandir Sahib, the holiest place for Sikhs. This temple, glistening with gold plating and surrounded by the sacred Amrit Sarovar, a pool of spiritual nectar, is a must-see. It's especially captivating in the evening when it lights up, and the faithful sing hymns. Just a stone's throw away, you'll find Jalinwala Bagh. This garden holds a somber piece of India's fight for freedom, marked by the tragic 1919 massacre. Even today, you can spot the bullet holes in its walls. A short drive from Amritsar takes you to the Wagha border, where the beating retreat ceremony unfolds daily at the India-Pakistan border. It's a patriotic spectacle that draws crowds from both sides. Turning our attention to the culinary scene, Amritsar is famous for Punjabi food. You can't leave without savoring Amitsari kulcha, maki di roti with sarson dasag, and the globally renowned Punjabi butter chicken. And if you're into shopping, Punjab's markets are an abundant collection of traditional clothing and footwear. Think colorful turbans, Punjabi juttis, and intricately embroidered fulkari dresses. It's a cultural shopping paradise. Number 3. Leh Ladakh, Jammu and Kashmir Leh Ladakh, snugged in the northernmost part of India, is a high-altitude desert region that entices travelers with its pristine beauty. The journey to Leh Ladakh is an adventure in itself. The Leh Manali Highway and the Leh Srinagar Highway offer breathtaking vistas, with high mountain passes like Kurdung La providing awe-inspiring views. Leh Ladakh is famous for its surreal landscapes, featuring snow-capped peaks, barren mountains, and glistening lakes. Pangong Lake, with its ever-changing tones of blue, and Somoriri Lake, encompassed by picturesque valleys, are must-visit spots. Nubra Valley's dunes are strikingly distinct from the snowy terrain. The region is speckled with ancient monasteries, with Hemis, Dixi, and Diskit Monastery being the most notable ones. Attend a morning prayer and penetrate the spiritual atmosphere. Adventurous tourists flock to Leh Ladakh for trekking. The challenging trek to Stok Kangri, the highest trekking peak in the region, is an extremely rewarding experience. The Zanska and Indus rivers offer thrilling river rafting opportunities for tourists. The Ladakhi culture is best explored through the markets, where you'll find Tibetan handicrafts and Pashmina shawls, and by relishing local cuisine like momos and dukpa. Number 2. Delhi 
Located in the northern part of India, Delhi, known as the capital of its country, offers a captivating blend of timeless allure and contemporary vitality. It's a destination you simply can't afford to miss during your trip to India. Delhi has some amazing historical landmarks. The Red Fort, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a stunning example of Mughal architecture. Humayun's tomb and Qutub Minar are also must-visit spots if you want to dive into India's rich heritage. But Delhi isn't just about history. India Gate and Connaught Palace offer a taste of modern Delhi. You can explore contemporary art at the National Gallery of Modern Art or catch a performance at the India Habitat Center. Delhi is a melting pot of religions and you'll find a wide range of spiritual sites. The Lotus Temple, shaped like a lotus flower, is open to all and known for its serene atmosphere. Jama Masjid, a grand mosque, is a marvel of Islamic architecture. Akshardham Temple offers a spiritual and cultural journey with its intricate stone carvings and exhibitions. Delhi's markets and cultural centers are a real treat. Chandani Chok is a bustling area filled with narrow lanes packed with spices, textiles, and delicious street food. The National Handicrafts Museum is a window into India's traditional crafts and artistry. When it comes to food, whether it's the sizzling street food at Barantiwali Gali or the Royal Mughlai cuisine at Karim's, you're in for a culinary adventure. Be sure to try the kebabs at Bukhara or explore the diverse flavors at Dili Hat. Number 1. Agra Nestled in the northern state of Uttar Pradesh, Agra has been on the map for travel enthusiasts for decades because it's home to the magnificent Taj Mahal. Constructed by Emperor Shah Jahan as a tribute to his late wife Mumtaz Mahal, this iconic white marble mausoleum is one of the seven modern wonders of the world, and perhaps the world's most exquisite piece of grand architecture. The Taj Mahal's allure reaches its zenith during the enchanting moments of sunrise and sunset, when the soft light plays its magic on the marble, creating an unforgettable view. Another UNESCO World Heritage Site not to be missed is the Agra Fort, a colossal red sandstone fortress housing various palatial structures. From its vantage points, you'll enjoy uninterrupted vistas of the Taj Mahal. For a deeper dive into Mughal heritage, venture to Fatehpur Sikri. This well-preserved abandoned city showcases the architectural prowess of the era, with notable landmarks like the Jama Masjid and the imposing Bulan Darwaja. Don't forget to explore the tomb of Itimad ud affectionately known as the Baby Taj. It may be smaller, but its intricate marble inlay work is equally captivating. And let's not forget about the food. Agra is a haven for Mughlai cuisine enthusiasts, offering mouth-watering delights like biryani, kebabs, and the sweet speciality, beta. In essence, Agra's rich history, centered around its architectural wonders, makes it an essential stop on any traveler's itinerary. And this is the end of our video. If you liked traveling to all the reasons that make India the perfect Asian destination, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. That way, we'll book you a passenger seat on our upcoming video travels. In the meantime, check out this cool video right here.